Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last episode, we uh, competed some more in the uh, <laughs> in the games here, in the competition, in the tournament of fighting. Today, we're going to do that some more, but hopefully today we're going to rank up into the, well, out of the amateur class. They say that once you get to rank 11, you can compete upwards. And after we fight this next opponent, the bob Om Squad, we will rank up to that exact level. So, no special moves, that's fine. That, as I learned last episode, doesn't mean no FP. It means none of the star type moves. So, we'll just send Cooper on his super shell. We'll have Mario do some Quake Hammer, and I think we'll be just fine to go. Uh, what we want to have not happen is have those bob bombs explode. All right, you know, follow me here, bombs. They explode sometimes. Yes, that's fine, Danny. They can explode however they like. Just don't do it on my face. All right, typically, I have very, very poor experiences with bombs exploding on my face. <laughs> Don't know if you've been around for the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask LP, but I got blown up a number of times, and I'd like to avoid that in this LP. So, like I said, my strategy is going to say largely as I detailed there at the onset, and looks like they have a mushroom as well. Please don't be considering that mushroom. All right, we're going to Quake Hammer. You should consider that. And it does two damage. Oh, they're both they're all pissed off. Power Shell. Put them out of their misery, Coops. Boom. Beautifully done. That worked out about as well as one could freaking hope. We didn't get the third star power, which I really wanted to have happen. But that's fine. Uh, I, I don't I don't think we'll need it. It freezes your opponents is what it does. What I really want to have happen is have our opportunity to use the two star power, which is like an attack. And it's an attack that deals damage to multiple enemies. And I feel like we're going to need that. Especially as we rank up here, we, we've we've got 11. Can you can you tell me how to compete for the the up level there? Up level, some. It's quite lonely without King K around, Bob. No lonely. I'm too weak. I am not here. Sound normal to Kleftor. You are in Bob's denial, Kleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker, Bob. Weeping. Oh, there's a a swooper. <laughs> right this way, sir. Swoop. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, if you just started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. Boom. When you're ready to fight, you log on here, and he's giving him the whole spiel that we got, even telling it to press A. Very nice. Presumably, this is to remind us that once we hit rank 11, we can challenge up a rank. So, is that is that, is that what's going to happen here, or, or what? I don't know. They're going a whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole spiel that we received two episodes back when we first came here. So, if that doesn't happen, if they don't tell us that, I'm still going to leave this room and start exploring a little bit because there has to be, there has to be it. They want them to do a triple flip and then meow. <laughs> oh, did I just see that? There we go. If you can get your rank up to 11, you get a shot at the major league. All right, give me my shot. I want my shot at the major league. Hey, um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop, Sir Swoop. I mean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sir Swoop. Hello. You're getting taken back already? Wow. That was very quick. They're trying not, they, they say the exact same stuff for the most part, except they didn't ask us to meow. We don't We don't get a chance? Do we need to talk to this again? Was, view rankings. Yeah, we, we were the great Gonzales, and we are top of our class. So if we hit this, does it presume us a, a different prop? Um... It looks like it, I guess. The Armored Harriers? Huh. Okay, yeah, you're finally gonna get a go with the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you. Don't you go letting us down now. now listen up. In this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? Just dang boring match to one-sided. All right. Wow. Three times? So, hold on. Just a one moment here real quickly. Shell Shield. Prevents... It protects. Presumably, it just increases our defense, right? And I think she has something similar. No, she does not. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep it to Cooper and Coops. Goodness gracious, Coops, poops, Coops, poops. <laughs> I can't keep calling him Cooper. All right, we're like 20 episodes into this series. <laughs> My giblets. So I'm gonna have Mario defend. I'm gonna have Coops, poops, Coops, poops do the defend thing as well for four flower points. And I guess we'll just do that three times in a row. The Iron Adonis Twins are who we're going against. Sounds pretty intimidating. But look at this, man. We got some we got some fans. 
And this whole presentation is different than the last like dozen or so matches that we've done. Feeling like burping. Whoa, Nelly heard folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Oh boy, there's some big old spiky clefts. I don't like that. They got the big old defense. And they're probably gonna be strong too. Good thing we're going to be putting the defense on, otherwise we probably would die in three turns, and that might be what they were asking of us, like to make it more difficult. I don't know. I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Yeah, then he, then he said, Audi belly buttons run the family. Stink wads. Why are you saying these things to them? You're not running a very good show here. And so on, yep. What? How does he know Mom has an Audi, that jerk? I've been doing my research. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. Gross. <laughs> Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand? <laughs> stinkwad? Send me down there, bro, you stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Saw and iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So, basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Interesting, so if we're to meet the stipulation here, it's going to be difficult. Uh, oh, we didn't sleep, so we're out of FP a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Get up now! We stay quiet, you're about to learn our skills the hard way! All right, well, time to time to defense, uh, and then I guess we'll have to want to do charge, but yeah. Defend, and then coops, use shell shield. Press A with the right timing. Oh. Hmm. I guess that's worth something. We still took four. We still took four. Or no, the shield took four. I see. So that's one turn. Um, <laughs> defend again, and then shield again. My goodness gracious, this is actually gonna be kind of sketchy. That was a better shield, almost perfect. It was right on the cusp of it. And it only cracked the shell, which means that we don't take any damage. Perfect, perfect, and we replenish the heart as well. We have to shield one more time, to so defend, and then coops. How about you appeal to the crowd? All right, we need as much, much on our side as possible. Four damage, my giblets. Ugh, gross. Okay, now Mario, it's time to uh, sweet treat because we're dying. <laughs> oh, and we could also stand to use some flower points as well. So let's just not get any, any toxic shrooms. Nope, 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 we need that heart, thank you. That heart too. When the FP would be helpful. Sweet, we're getting, oh, we got the, we got the heart, but we also got the poison shroom. And we only got two FP, which is just barely enough for Cooper to do his thing. So let's, should we even do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna test Shell Toss here just to see it first. No damage, wow. Goodness gracious, okay, I'm a little bit concerned here. Whew, we are in poor shape. Uh, what sort of items do we got? We can, we can make him dizzy, oh! My goodness gracious, or we get assaulted by the freaking crowd. Let's do Earth Tremor and see what we can do here. Uh, this is probably our only hope of doing any damage at all. Hopefully they only have like one HP because goodness knows that uh, doing any damage at all after this is gonna be difficult. Oh. Wow. This is getting intense. My goodness gracious. Well, that was that went as well as it possibly could. <laughs> oh, made my hands sweat. What? What? No damage? No damage? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, I did it. I, I, I did it. I did it. Okay. Well, dude, I don't know. That was probably the strongest form of attack that we possibly could have. If, like, what? What's are we meant to lose this? Is that the case here? Because we're about to die right now. Here comes Mario. We're about to waste a life shroom and everything. My goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. Uh, life shroom, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. What? What's the tactic here? Use a charge? We don't have FP. Gosh darn it. Getting assaulted as well. Oh, buddy. I don't even want to do any of this. Come on now. All right. Just use a hammer. <laughs> Man. We're going to have to recollect our thoughts here after this because we're, yeah, we're dying. Not this turn, I don't think. 
Well, if I don't do the actual commands, I'll just, we're, we're gonna die. Alright, I'll just let us die, and we'll see what happens. Because we don't even know what happens when we lose a match now. That's not something that we've actually experienced. There were the, the, the whatever dozen battles that we've fought in this arena. We got ourselves a winner, the Armored Harriers! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. You want another piece of pumpkin pie? Have a bath and come on back, punk. Okay. I guess that's what we're meant to do. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We received a single coin. Well, at least we got something, and we stay at rank 11. Interesting. Uh, hey, Mario, do you notice the little bouncy egg isn't here? What do you think? Oh, it's gone? Where's our... Where's our little egg? Yo! Hello? Are you the egg? You, you're the, you the egg? Gonzalez. Check me out, man. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, what? You hatched out of that egg? That's nuts. You're, you're a Yoshi, huh? Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Well, I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, you gotta repay you from saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. You'll swallow them, huh? What's what's your name? No, I just came out of that egg, so I, I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it. Why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Are we gonna name this boy? What's their actual name? What is their actual name? I want to name him the real name. But I don't know the real name, and I'm trying to avoid any and all spoilers until I do this. I knew we get a little Yoshi friend. I put him in the thumbnail. Um... Well, shoot, we'll call you Yoshi. <laughs> or Yoshi Jr. or something. Since you're a little tiny boy. Uh, okay, L-Y-Y-O. Y-O-S-H-I. And then space? Is there a space one for us? Is there some, some sort of space? Hmm. There isn't a space. But there is a, a period. And a dash. Yosh. J-R. Yoshi Jr. All right, that's your name now. <laughs> oh, barely fits too. Maybe that is what we're supposed to name it. Hmm, Yoshi Jr., huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. Okay, uh, the Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Yoshi Jr. And he swallows people, apparently. Um, a primer for his abilities. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. He's but. Four minutes old and you can already mount him. Goodness gracious, this dude's got some crazy musculature, apparently. While riding Yoshi, you'll move much faster. That's helpful for, for transportation purposes. Granted, looks a little funny there <laughs> with the big old plumber on top of him. While on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. Just like, you know, Yoshi's little jump thing. Cool, <clears throat> very good. Uh, what about his battle? Uh, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Cool. Well, presumably, this is just my guess. I think we were meant to lose that fight. It's only just too bad we had a life shroom because there is no way we could, like, refrain from using it if we had a life shroom on our person. Because I think that we had to lose that in order to unlock his little egg. And then now that we have him, he'll be able to, uh, to beat those those two bros for us. So, I mean, I dig it from a plot development point. It makes sense to me. I just wish that I had, like, deposited that life shroom, but I suppose I would have only had that opportunity if I had looked this up in the beginning. And that's not something, like I said, that I that I would be doing. Um, what did he say? I, I was talking over that. I think he said no acrobats, so no jumping. But no worries, man. I'm just going to eat them. <laughs> or not me. Excuse me. My, uh, <clears throat> my associate here, Yoshi Jr., so, back to the stage we go. Um, they have a similar dialogue. Everything else looks the, the same so far. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra bard, these ultra hard bods just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle. Pokey dokey, lemon choky, smoky pokey. Um, don't use your hammer. I see. Jolly, get me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Steve Watch Challenge is good. Looks like he brought the new shrimpy partner as if that's gonna help. I see. As if we needed any more confirmation that this is what we're supposed to do. Okay, Yoshi Jr. Inhale the enemy. Press R 
and release when the star lights up. Cool. Whoa! Dang, that did a lot of damage. It did five to the front one and four to the one behind. Is that, is that, does that just like negate their defense or is that like taking their defense into effect? Meaning he would have done like, I don't know, like 12 damage. Our bodies and pointing nastiness are being used against us, no fair. Oh dang bro, he has he discovered our weak points. Your weak points is what, being swallowed? <laughs> I'd say that's anyone's weak point to be honest with you. Uh, weak point, <laughs> being that, you know, you guys are pointy, you get it, it's a weak point. Uh, we'll do it again, and maybe that'll be it for you guys, because I can't imagine you have 10 HP. Yeah, you guys both have 8 or less, and we get 10 star points as a result, nearly halfway to the next level. Very nice, Yoshi Jr. Ugh. We have to go back to the minor league now, bro, I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez, with this year, and you made the major league. Now, with that, folks, is what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places. I can tell. Hooey! Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, yay! Well, the crowd goes wild. Everyone's buying bean burritos. It's amazing. Uh, now, I want a bean burrito. I had a grandma. Her last name was Gonzalez. Or great grandma, goodness gracious, I'm old. Uh, here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Beautiful. You received seven coins. Mario's ranking rose to ten. Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Come along now. He's got gordita crunches for you. Ah, very nice. Ooh, I thought it smelled beefy in here. Oh, look at you. Are you farting? Mr. Grubba, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubber. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. None. Now, what'll I want again? Mm. Oh, something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Mm. Come here, boy. I see you got there with a nice little Yoshi friend. You're gonna be swallowing my competitors here. You're moving up to the Major Leagues. Gonzalez, you old so and so. Let me congratulate you, son. Her Major League already. Well, I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I am right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats, and I'm counting on you, son. I need to make me some cool hot money. Got a special little something here for you. Go on, take it. It's a prize, and it is 30 coins. How generous. So yeah, something else has been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you're gonna be a big champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe with some frills or something. You look a sad son, you be like a luchador. Anyway, there's something for another day, part. Take powder, right? A what? You're like code name for a bathroom break? Something? Alright, but we even got the, the coop poops with us. <laughs> uh presumably you know this means go to the locker room. The new locker room, right? We gotta go to the major league locker room? Is that, is that correct? Yes, it is. Very nice. No longer are we in the dingy, run-down locker room. We are in with the big boys. This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Well, if you excuse me, you must be going now. All right, ladies. See you later. We got the pink Game Boy Advance monitor now. And one, two, three, four friends. And look at that. There's even a privacy wall for the bed. What's the deal? Will they kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. We haven't even talked to them yet. What do you mean? Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. Hey, it, it, it me. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I come all the way over here for you. <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to, to waste your time there, dude. What's your deal, Gonzalez, huh? Oh, your champ's belt. Yeah, come here. Give me, I want that. What in the... Hey, you get too close to the cock, you might get... <laughs> oh, you get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. That's not the crystal star. Hey, you think you can just smack talk to Brock Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Well, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Yoshi Jr. got an attitude. I love it. <laughs> Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under them lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. Dwayne. Johnson, that is. Okay, well, let's talk to our competitors. What do you think, Yoshi Jr.? 
Well, forget him. We got a problem. Matt pointed to Glitzfield, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one? I'm guessing that the promoter has it. Did you always was that your mailbox going off? Who you get email from? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's take a look. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. It looks like Mr. Saturn's speech. <laughs> Who the heck is this ex dude? He talks like he's the man to see about the crystal star. Why would he want to help us out, though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Very strange. Uh, heed their instructions. They gave us none. <laughs> Very cryptic message telling us essentially nothing at all. Um, not entirely sure what to think of that, but hey, we're, we're taking a nap, and then maybe things will come to light a little bit better for us. I'll be the champ someday. You bet. Uh -huh, that's right, just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. Maybe Mr. X is Prince Mush. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. I mean, you got some scary red eyes, man. You're very focused, clearly. Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. Hammer bro, technically, right? Can we go in this way? We can, uh, but let's talk to this grayed out Koopa Troopa first. You're pretty tough, baby. Well, you're gonna have to power up to win here. Okay, well, let's go in here. Occupied! Okie dokie, don't wanna rain on anyone's coops poops, but let's, let's do our first major league match. What do we got going on for us? Next opponent is ranked number nine, the Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son, this battle, I want you to wrap tur five turns of this. We got a cute chickadee coming to date me in just a few, and I don't want to be late. I get in there, bring Bobby home quick. All right, so we got little Spinies, it would seem we're going to fight this dude right there, I'd guess, in his cohort. Uh, I'm just going to try out Yoshi, Yoshi Jr. again. It seemed that swallowing and spitting enemies was a pretty decent maneuver. Goodness knows that uh, you could stand to incorporate that in a great number of mini games or other games in general. Legend of Zelda, Link, using the sword? No, dude, put the Octorok in your friggin' mouth and spit it out. You'd be doing it just as well, but this time, twice as fast. Now, here's the thing, though, and I'm curious. They have spikes. Is he going to be able to, to mouth them? The Clefs had spikes as well, but I'm, I don't know. I, I'm concerned a little bit. There's only one way to find out, though, so swallow these boys, or at least this first one. Yeah, that worked out just as well. Eliminated the first one. Beautiful. Goodness gracious. And, well, Mario, that, what's their defense like? What's their defense? Yeah, their defense is a lot. Okay, well. Goodness gracious. I guess we're just relying on Yoshi Jr. Mario's not the main character anymore. Mario's just the bystander. <laughs> Mario's the moral support. Swallow that, dude. Spit him out of here. Five damage every time. That's, that's pretty freaking good, I gotta say. I mean... Eventually, that's not going to work, right? Like, there's got to be some enemies that that is just not effective on. Maybe it's the bigger enemies. Maybe it's those that are, like, charged up with some sort of element. Like, we've already seen some get charged with electricity. I'd have to imagine that they're not swallowable. And then on the off chance that we encounter any, like, flame enemies, they're probably not swallowable either. Either which way, we've got up to nine. We are making progress here in the ranking system. Do we get another little cutscene? No, not yet. We got cutscenes almost in between every single other match of the minor leagues, but it seems that the major leagues take things just a wee bit more seriously, all right? They're all about action here, and that's fine. I understand it, because that means that we get to progress into the next fight a little bit quicker. And I'm keen on seeing just exactly who that is. The Poker Faces. Lady Gaga and her family. Uh, now we can't... No! Don't let them damage me. I hate this stipulation. This stipulation is redonkulous, okay? Can't condone it. Can't condone it. Five times? Two? Are you kidding me? Like, that's going to get me killed, potentially. Like, most of these enemies have done at least two points of damage, right? And if they do any more than that, you know, five times three is 15, and that's my max HP. That's my max HP. These dudes, eh, they look pretty tough as well. So maybe... I don't know. All right, we're going to swallow... One of them, or maybe we should defense first. Oh, goodness. What is the strategy here? Because I'm almost worried that, that swallowing them would get them eliminated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they've only got two HP. If we had them swallowed, they'd be dead. We've, we've faced these dudes before, and they're not super strong. So defend and little Yoshi defend. We'll do this five times in a row. And hopefully... Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, wait, they got to damage us five times. We got to damage us five times. He didn't say attack, so appeal. Hello, crowd. It is I, the mustache. You also appeal. Hello. 
I guess this is as good of an opportunity as any to, uh, like, replenish our star meter thing. And we gained HP there. We only lost one, so that helps. Yeah, just continue to appeal to the crowd. Get everyone on your side, Mario. Goodness knows you're gonna need the star power a little bit later. It's interesting to me that these two dudes, that they made their, their way into the Major League. Like, this is probably the easiest one of the... They, they belong in the Miners. They're just as easy as, like, the Goombas. We could one-turn them. We could one-turn them. And this is turn three now. So, I gotta keep count there. Otherwise, I'm gonna do it one turn too early. <laughs> and then waste all of everyone's time. Don't want to do that, goodness gracious. Might make good... No, I don't want to heal. It's not worth it. It doesn't make any sense. Here's the fourth and second to last uh, appeal <laughs> to the crowd. It's going to give us full full star here on the next turn. This is going to work out quite conveniently. And that's five. No, that's four. Right? We're down to 15. Shoot, I don't know. We'll do it one more time. Goodness gracious. My memory is so awful. I can't even understand it sometimes. I forget how much I forget. And then I forget that. And then it's like, what's even happening? Either which way, though, that should be enough. We should be in the clear now to use your hammer, even, and just smash this guy. Oh, no. That's right. We can't do that. You there. You Use the use the swallow. Uh, hold R. Don't get too close now, though. Oh! Oh, you rotten little monkey. You rotten little monkey. I see how it is now. You're going to ask for the quake hammer then, huh? You crave the quake. You crave the rumbling. Well, I have it for you, my boys. You let it rain down on your foreheads. A decent amount of star points for a relatively easy foe. Granted, it just I, I forgot that they had the extendo wands there, the go-go gadget wingspan. <laughs> but and ended up fine enough, and we were able to maintain the boss's stipulation as well, getting up to rank 8. Rank 8. Probably not going to get all the way there. I keep wanting to think that we're going to be able to like skip some rankings, but no. We're just going to skip to some more emails from Mr. Saturn. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. Watering hole outside the glitz pit. Interesting. Well, I'm going to take a heal first. Let me just... Take a little nap real quick, and then we'll go outside to the hot dog pit. Okay, the arena is the glitz pit, right? Where's the watering hole just outside of it? Is that like, is that the juice bar? Is that technically the watering hole? I know that people refer to like establishments of that nature, you know, like bars and restaurants and stuff as a watering hole, but I guess I was kind of, I was, I don't know, I was thinking like an actual watering hole. I guess. <laughs> Where all the animals in the savannah would go graze and drink their liquids. But instead we come here. Is it you? No. It's not. Hey, where'd this friend go? She gone. Where'd she go? Is that the one we're looking for? Or is it this? Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick stash man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this, the letter was talking about is this. The super hammer, ooh! Now we can break the big eyebrow blocks, huh? Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting the super hammer. Way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Wanna learn about it? Yeah. Sure you do. Let's practice. A little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the stick until your body twists up. Whoa. Okay, and then you release it. So, hold down B and rotate, then release. So, B. Interesting. I don't know if that was perfect. I think I only rotated like four times, but it's a work in progress. I, I get the idea. I get the concept, Toadette. That's pretty neat. And now we'll get to break bigger blocks like that. There was one of those in the amateur room, actually. I didn't even really mess with it all that much. I kind of just saw it off in the corner of the room. I was like, yeah, I can't mess with that. <laughs> I'm not concerned. However, I did notice when I was leaving the locker room that the guard in front of that amateur room didn't move. Like, they wouldn't let us back in. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to check. The Hammerwhack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship. Good grip. High bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. Why leave this in the juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time. Email time indeed, right in front of the old man. Smash the blockade in the minor league room. Hey, that's exactly what I planned on doing. Look at that. My goodness gracious, I am just 
on top of things today, it would seem. Well, I mean, not necessarily. <laughs> I'm on top of at least one thing, and I guess we'll chalk that up as a win, and we'll take as many wins as we can get, because goodness knows, all right? Goodness knows. We mentioned this ad nauseum before in the past. We mentioned this in every single LP. I'm no professional, all right? I'm just a... Just an average dude doing average things. Can I go through here? Yeah, I'm Gonzalez. Thank you very much. Excuse me. I'm here to I'm here to break break a block. Pardon me. Hey, what's up, guys? No, I'm sorry. No hard feelings, right? See. Oh, we have to actually crank it. I see. That's really neat that we can do that in the overworld. I was thinking that would only be like a battle thing. I wonder if the person doing this is the mouse lady who's helped us before in the past. What the heck? Can do this? Oh, hold on. Hold on, we have a new partner here. There we go, thank you, Yoshi Jr. Dubious paper, a letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff on it. Top down here, experience a cutscene and read it, presumably. Whoa, Gonzalez, you have some kind of scientific paper on the crystal scars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Hmm, who'd leave something like this just lying around? This just reeks of funny business. It does indeed. Whoa, flip-flop back and forth. You again, Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? I'm just, you know, breaking things. <laughs> this is the minor league room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I mean, it was a... It was an eyesore. It was huge. It, it had eyebrows. It, you'll be confiscating this, thank you very much. How did you know that? She could see... <laughs> is that a stack of paper in your pants, Mario, or are you just happy to see me? Maybe it's both, I don't know, but she took it. What's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the crystal star is here. I didn't even get a chance to read it. I was about to come out here and pull up my start menu and investigate that thing, but it would seem that I was too late. Maybe we wouldn't have even have been able to do that. But man, I wish I would have tried. I'll save the progress here, and it looks like we need to go back in to the Major League room and commence some more fighting action. But we're going to do that next time. So, with that said, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel so that you can get all of the latest videos, which happen every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Either which way, I'm just glad you were here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, look at this guy. I know him. He's me.